Hey guys, in this tutorial we will talk about wait for next transport property. A wait for next transport property in a transport link can be used to hold the product until the receiving process starts to execute a wait transport statement. To demonstrate this I will use the current layout to create such layouts. Please go to our academy in academy.visualcomponents.com and then browse through the process modeling lessons. There is also the course introduction to process modeling, which has a few lessons to teach basics on the topic. So let's get to it. I would go to process tab and then check the product types available. So I'll be using one can and also a box. If I click on processes, you'll see one feeder here that will produce the can. And this feeder over here will make us the box. And the idea is that I want Mrs. Anna standing over here to carry one can from this spot coming over here to the manual process while a box is already waiting over here. And then she would put the can inside the box and pack it. So let's create quickly what I just explain to you. I would click on feeders label then to the manual process. So you see already two links being connected to manual process. This one will be done by human and then property wait for next transport is here under the process link. I'll be turning it on later to see how it works. If I go through the process executor statements, we have one statement here, start transport in. And that's basically the part that we want to import the can or bring it in by human. So the product that we are going to accept through this link will be the can. And the variable name for it is going to be can. So you can see here start transport in VC can is the product type as the variable here in this process is can. And this is a simultaneous calling of transport in of a product. And then at the same time I'm going to bring in a box. Let's set that box over here and the variable name to be box. Then the state goes to busy. We can put a one minute delay. And then we'll add a wait for transport for who for the can. So we basically wait here to check if the can has arrived or not. After we are sure the can is arrived, I'm gonna attach the can to the box. Parent is box, the child is can. And after that, I wanna ask Mrs. Anna to do a 10 second process, it could be for, for example, closing the box. And after that, the state goes to blocked and then we'll remove the box. Okay, so in case that I press play here, Mrs. Anna goes to pick up the can. She comes in. Let me just again open the process. So as you can see, we are still in the delay of 60 seconds, but the can was already placed there. And we are still over here again in the next loop, but Mrs. Anna is putting the can already. It means that we are not really waiting for this delay. The 
The reason for that is we need to have this wait for next transport property to be enabled. And if I just increase the speed and here I would decrease, you can see now that Mrs. Anna is basically waiting until this delay is done. And then when we get to this line, she will be putting in the can into the box. Okay, that was the purpose of this video. Please go and try it by yourself. If you have more questions, feel free to open a discussion in forum. This was Reza from Visual Components. Bye for now.